town, in out of town, as I have heard them tell. How oh, once there was a white hare, he used it there to dwell. She been haunted by the greyhounds and being. Do you know they made that special shampoo for New Age travellers called Go and Wash? <laughs> I thought it was called Wash and Fuck Off. How fucking dare he put this fucking shit on again? Bastard. Yeah. <laughs> And that's just a volunteer for less than minimum wage. It's yeah. just a fat cat at the top, isn't he? Ex exploiting the workers. <laughs> with, his, with, his, with his outdated imperialist dogma. <laughs> is, that, is, that camera pick, is that camera picking this up? <laughs> Starting on my right, I'm going to crawl across to everyone. And if you can all just say who you are to the camera, don't look at me, I'm looking at the viewers. Okay. Hi, I'm Norm. And? And? I've, I've come into Strum account for the past six, seven years, uh, on and off, a couple of breaks in between, but I enjoy coming to here, mucking in with these lads, giving them a lift, which they uh, no doubt appreciate, lads, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Who is he? I'm Steve, uh, started doing Strummer Camp a good few years ago and uh, I've never been allowed to leave since. Um, Phil normally wants us all um, doing it every year and uh, he knows then that we know what we're doing and everything's trusted. Um, you've got to come to Strummer Camp if you've never been, it's an absolute crack. Um, good music, good people, great food, good setup, and Phil never ever told me to say that, honest. I'm Howard. And I blame him for everything. <laughs> a few years ago, he said, "Come and help me out on a weekend for this thing." And yeah, he's not let me go since. Yeah, well, I, was, I was here on the fourth one after somebody rang me up and said, "Do you fancy giving us a bit of a hand?" And I just take it as a, a busman's holiday now. So you're going to blame Steve as well? No, yeah. I blame Phil. <laughs> right, I'm bod, unaccustomed to public speaking as I am. Uh, <laughs> Well, you say that every time I film you. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I think I've maybe done about nine strummer camps. You couldn't want for a better festival, really. So friendly, the music's brilliant, atmosphere's great. The beer's cold. The beer's cold, the, the beer's, beer's cheap. Cold. Now we're in Oldham. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, come on down. I originally joined the strummer camp crew after I came, the first time, I, no, second, second time I came here. Uh, and I got full of beer. And so, and so on the Monday morning, I decided to work my hangover off. <laughs> so I jumped in with everybody. And, uh, and I've been here ever since. Yeah. I joined a good few years back. Um, I think it was possibly around, it was before seven, something. I remember that year. That, that was an absolute hilarious nightmare. Um, backstage sort of events where we had a, um, almost like a second-hand generator that we'd been loaned um, <laughs> and the diesel pipe split and there was diesel just absolutely, for want of a better word, hissing out everywhere. When we opened it up, I got covered in diesel. We, we turned it off, got a bit of pipe from behind the bar, got some gaffer tape. A bit of beer pipe, wasn't it? A bit of beer pipe, um, pipe in, out of the yeah, skip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, MacGyvered a replacement and when the actual engineer turned up he opened it up and he went who the hell did this and they ended up me and him chatting because we're both ex-horses and he's an engineer and he couldn't believe that a, a bunting as I was had rigged that up and then uh, within 15-20 minutes it was all back up and running again. That's quite good that because I've actually got a picture of that um, you and this other chap. Was it you? Was it you? He's, 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 got a, he's wearing a false beard, you wouldn't have recognised him. I've got my hat, I've still got my hat. Right, got a difficult question for you now. Ooh. What exactly do you do, and how long does it take to do it? We do this. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we do. And we start yeah. until we fall over. And we... we come, we build it, and then we get the bands on stage, we get the bands off stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of it. Yeah, keep it all to keep it to time. The time. Make sure everything's running, trouble, sort, anything. 
that we need to do. Stage when they need to be yeah, sometimes, stage. sometimes even walk on stage and remove the mic from people who are going <laughs> over time, like we've done before. Because everyone should have their full set, but no one should take the piss and go over. Um, and then when everyone's hung over like buggery on Bank Holiday Monday, I'm sorry now for all the campers. With the gits, with the hammers banging the stage apart, deliberately, nice and loudly, <laughs> nice and early. Because if we're up, you're, you're up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Does uh, do any of you work at any other music festivals? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we yeah. we also work at Infest, which is a goth industrial cyber oomps oomps type music. German Romper Stomper yeah. um, Festival in Bradford at uni, which is at the, oh, it's on another bank holiday weekend. Yeah. I work for a company that um, does quite a lot of the big festivals. We've got Bearded Theory out this weekend. We're getting Park Life out uh, next weekend. Snow bombing came back at the end of February, I think it was. Kendall Call it. Yeah, the company I work for do a lot of the, uh, a lot of the big festivals. To be honest, it's, you can come across other bands that you never ever would have probably listened to because it is such a mixed bag. We would never have thought that we would have been listening to Urban Voodoo Machine, considering the type of music that we're both into. You know, my wife's the sort of classic poodle perm, 80s rock, and I'm more sort of like German industrial, but with a bit of Maiden thrown in. I think what I find most enjoyable is... Uh it's crewing this stage when the bands are on and seeing everybody out here just having a blast. It's just a sea of smiling faces. Everybody's having such a good time. And then you see them at the end, like when they're packed <laughs> up and they're going and uh, everybody's just buzzing because they just had the best weekend. And now that you've told us the good things, can you tell us one or two little bad things? You know, is it the food, the toilet, right. the, yeah. the bands? Anything like that? Friday morning. Bad things. I'd be hard pushed to think about a, a bad thing about it. I can't, I can't really think of one really bad thing that I'd have to complain about. It's hard graft and you just crack on and do it, you know? But it's enjoyable. Uh, there was one particular lemon. I wanted to try and bring a, a bottle of Jack Daniels onto the, onto the pitch. I mean, we are on a rugby pitch and we do cooperate with the club to actually allow no glass on the, on the pitch. Uh, we offered to decant his bottle into a plastic one for him, which he decided, no, I'll just drink it, because he was going to get thrown out, but he started crying and said, I'm singing with a band tomorrow. So he let him stay, but sure enough, he started ballooning about when he was performing with his band, climbed onto the stage left, uh, PA stack, did a crowd surf, everybody separated, and like, burst his nose. <laughs> So he got fixed up and then turfed out. <laughs> Worst thing? Getting up on Friday morning and realising I've got three days of this going on. <laughs> of drunken debauchery and a good laugh. Yeah, and then realising, yeah, it's a good laugh. And that's the worst thing you can come up with. <laughs> yeah, because that, that feeling on a Friday morning of just, oh God, I've got three days of. Humping bands on and off the stage. No, no, you're not humping the bands, you're humping the kit. Are you sure you want to be here? Yeah. Yeah. You, hate the, you hate the Friday when you're coming here and you, you love the Monday when you're going home. Yeah. Back across the pen, yeah, aren't you? It's, it's, it's Get back the, up that 62. It's the time when I'm here that's just a good laugh. That's the problem. I can't quite get over. It would be nice to see a lot more people here. Get yourself to summer camp and have an absolute cracking weekend. Because literally, as the posters and everything says, without people with nothing, if you don't come, this doesn't happen. There are other events on this weekend. But if you're in Manchester, if you're in the northwest, and you're not going to anything, even just come down for a day ticket. Because once you get the summer camp book, NHS can't help you. You ain't leaving. <laughs> Tell me about it. Mind you, mind you, a lot of the other festivals and mainly have tribute bands on. We always try and get a, a really good headliner. You know, we've got Rooks DC the, this Sunday. We've had the Blockheads, The Damned, Spear of Destiny, um, Selector. Undertones, The Beat. SLF, XSLF. So, anyone can answer this one. 
Bod. Bod. <laughs> Do you all get on with each other? No, we hate each other. <laughs> with the passion, as you can tell. <laughs> There's no egos in this crew, is there? There's, there's no egos in this crew. Connect, connect. <laughs> it literally is. People go, oh, it's it's a family, and people say that in sort of tongue in cheek, but it is a family. You might not see some of these crew for a whole twelve months because there are people who come up from Portsmouth, there are people who might drive over from the other side of Pennines. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, right it's, side of Penang, I've told you. Long to be friends as well. well. They come from Germany. Yeah, and cycling yeah, over. Yeah. Cycling over. From yeah. the yeah. Netherlands. Cycling from the Netherlands. Yeah. All to be here. And there's not a bad word said. And you can get a bit stressed when you're loading on and you're loading up. But no one ever falls out. Because yeah. at the end no. of the day, you just rock up to the bar, have a beer, put it behind you, and crack on. And I've never ever seen a crossword, a fallout, even like a bit of dummy spitting um, when someone's seen their ass. Apart from the bands. Yeah, well that happens. Um, but the crew, no, they're solid, absolutely mm. solid. They're... And, the, and the thing is... And we all take the piss out of each other. Well the thing yeah, is, it, as well, it, yeah. it's we do it for the love of it, it's all voluntary. Hey, you know, voluntary? We're fucking <laughs> typical, oh, yeah. typical Yorkshireman. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a favourite band? Too many to mention, isn't there? There's that bunch of lunatics, what they run out the run guns, out the are they? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, they're not on this year, apparently. We both would run out the guns. Uh, we liked them so much, we actually had them play at our wedding. Uh, and it was indeed an honour, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then, the, you know, there'll be other bands that you've, you've seen right back in the day when you actually saw them on top of the pops and stuff like that and then you're actually working with these guys and you're chatting with these guys yeah. and you're loading them on and off and you're like oh my god they're, they're still so full of passion for the music for so long and they go out and they bang out an absolute cracking set because none of them hold back they can't get any better than that does anyone want to talk about what they do outside of summer cramp crew I'm very boring, I'm an IT engineer. And I work in probation at a mental health hostel um, in Manchester, so working with these, it's just like a busman's holiday for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also run a, a burlesque and alternative fair, which is based in Manchester three a year. Um, we've got the summer ones coming up at the end of next month, which I've you brought him into. You will want me in that same silly shirt again, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, we're at the Frog and Bucket on the 30th on Sunday afternoon. Set it up like a market and then we have um, performers on stage all afternoon. We have burlesque with ladies, we have boylesque that are guys, we have pole dancing, aerial hoop, we also have gorelesque where they cover themselves in blood or they might insert nails, the sort of shock horror mm -hmm. type circus stuff. Um, we have singers and most of those are from uh, my wife's model agency, Road Model Management, which has got models, performers and artists up and down the country, from the south coast up to Scotland. Anyone else want to talk about what they do outside? <laughs> well, in the interest of national security, I can't tell you what I do. Is there anyone you would like to be interviewed next on summer camp? Phil. Yeah, he, he always seems to get away with it, don't he? Phil. Fitz always gets away with it. Yeah. Definitely Phil. Yeah, Phil yeah. Fitzpatrick, he's got my vote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He needs to justify why we're here. All those for Phil, raise your hand. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, it is a labour of love, isn't it, with him? I think he secretly enjoys it, though. Oh, of course he does. He does. Same as his all, really, you know. Yeah. We, all, we all do it for the love of it, yeah. don't we? Tall chap on the end. Anyone you'd like to see interviewed for Strummer Camp? Spoons. Yeah, Spoons. <laughs> Who, who's Spoons? Spoons. Simon Spoons. Aye, get him yeah, yeah, playing his yeah. Spoons. Yeah. There's a YouTube video of him. If you look it up on YouTube and type in Insomnia, Simon Spoons, that's a cracking video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, how do you think it's going, guys? Grand. Well, is, is, is everyone thirsty? Yes. Thirsty, aye, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, all fucking empty, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I need to get rid of one and then get another one. And we're going to drink responsibly for the whole weekend. Responsibly. Of course. Of course. So my final one 
How many finals have you got? A lot of finals. <laughs> the, that was a penultimate one. This, one. this is the final, 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 final one. Is, I'd, like you, I'd like you all to say in unison um, to the viewers. I'm already a member of unison. like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, jamesphotography.co.uk. On your marks, get set, go. Like, like, like subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> like, follow, like, comment, and subscribe. It was, wasn't it? Was it James like, Photography? Comment, was it? Subscribe. Who is it? <laughs> I've never heard of him. Photography.co.uk. Just follow the leading like page. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was terrible. Right, in unison. One, two, three. Like, like subscribe, comment, and oh, subscribe. Yeah, and comment yeah. to jamesphotography.co.uk. Or follow the link below that you'll no doubt post to it. Yeah. Click on that. It's a lot easier. And as a parting shot, as I say in all of these interviews, if you want to know what happens at Strummer Camp, come to Strummer Camp. Because without you, we're, we're nothing. nothing. It's a wrap, head to the bar. Time for the bar. Here o'clock. Oh, my hips have gone. Oh, shit. 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 O